the birds and the bees. As a child, you may have heard your parents try to explain courtship and reproduction using the idiom the birds and the bees. More likely, however, is that as an adult, you've heard someone use the birds and the bees as a euphemism for sex. Indeed, many adults find it embarrassing to talk about this adult topic and instead prefer to say the birds and the bees. You're growing up, so it's time we had a talk about the birds and the bees. A parent might start an important conversation with their child. A high school biology teacher might start a class off with Today's lesson is in regards to the birds and the bees. Most men our age only have the birds and the bees on their mind. A co-worker frustrated by the process of looking for a life partner might say to you, As you can tell, the idiom, the birds and the bees, is a euphemism for sex. This idiom is supposed to bring to mind easily observable natural processes, birds laying eggs and chicks hatching, bees pollinating flowers and fruits growing. This is supposedly how adults try to explain the process of courtship and mating to children without getting into too much detail. The origin of the idiom, the birds and the bees, is not entirely clear, but English literature from as early as the 1600s is found to contain references. The literature usually alludes to springtime and all the things in nature that happen during spring instead of mentioning sex directly. And of course, bees coming out of hibernation and baby birds hatching out of eggs are springtime phenomena that everyone notices. Another explanation, funny but unverifiable, is that the bee represents the male who stings the female, the bird, causing the female to swell up where she was stung. Now is not the time to be thinking about the birds and the bees, you might tell your husband as you are both cleaning the house. Perhaps a friend from another country tells you, in our country, we are not as open, so most people shy away from talking about the birds and the bees. I use the internet so we can skip the talk about the birds and the bees. A child might tell his or her parents who are trying to have a discussion. So, the next time you feel just a little too embarrassed, or perhaps the circumstances don't allow, don't forget to instead say, the birds and the bees.